Now, we've asked some people in your life to describe you. Who do you think said this about you? She wasn't a little goody-goody two-shoes. Well, I could have told you that. But had enough brightness and spirit to make life interesting. She had a real spark. Who do you think that was? I don't know. Was that a pal from a long time ago? I don't think it was a pal. Here's a message from your old primary school teacher, Miss Spears. Oh, Miss Spears, I love well Miss Well done Spears. in your 35 oh, years Spears. in broadcasting and her. you were always my star pupil and I'm very proud of you and congratulations and lots of love. Oh, that's Miss Spears. It's called Lynn, but you can't call Miss Spears Lynn. <laughs> she's Miss Spears. She's an amazing teacher. Absolutely incredible. A great teacher can oh, really wonderful. transform a life, can't it? Totally. I, I can remember all the best teachers I yep. had, and the worst, actually. Yep. But a great one can really inspire you and set you up for life. No, she was amazing. Miss Spears, she went on to be Mrs Buttons. Isn't that gorgeous? Really? <laughs> Mrs Buttons was a second name, but she's Miss Spears to me. And have you stayed in touch with her? Yeah, she came in. She actually came into the studio a couple of years ago mm. to see to come round and have a wee look. What's the best lesson she taught you? Um, I think... Curiosity. Be mm. curious about everything. Because she used to make us all, not make us, but encourage us to do creative writing. And that was mm. the first time that we, and, and really encouraged you. And really, it was that thing of, you're right about a spark. You know, she, mm. she really did. She was absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, just, and be curious about the world. Now, a lot of people are watching this going, how on earth could Lorraine Kelly be 82 years old? <laughs> uh, amazing. And what is the secret to your eternal youth? What, what is the secret? It's how do you look so good? No, it's, it's because... Well, no, I don't You're not actually 82, obviously. No, no. Those... But I don't take care of myself, really. I try really hard. It's all about, you know, because I like a glass of wine and, and, and I like... You do your Zumba. I, I, do, see the, I do, I do. I see the Instagram pictures of you. <laughs> oh, the hot sweaty, hot mess. <laughs> I know. I have to I know. say, I like them. Do you like them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's good. You love, you love your Zumba? Yeah, I do that, but it's moderation, isn't it? It's, it? All of it is, I've inherited it from my mum. My mum's got an amazing skin and she looks really good. And I think it's that. Well, who do you think said this about you? Everyone says she doesn't really age much. I think her secret is good genes. Who said good that? Good genes? Or that my mum or, or one of the family, maybe? Let's see. Having an older oh, sister is great. Brother. They do look after you and <laughs> they don't beat brother. you up like a, an older brother probably would have done. The side of her you see on TV, this megastar, the nation's favourite, the side I see it when she's, you know, away from the camera, it's, it's very similar. She's the same warm, bubbly person. She probably hate me using the word bubbly, but she is, so I'm going to use it. It sounds a cliche when you hear, oh, but I just treat her like my sister, because she is. But what she's done is amazing. I mean, a combination of talent and a hell of a lot of hard work. Yeah, I think if your own family brother. talked that way about mm. you, you haven't done much wrong in I know, life, I do know. miss him. I don't see him as, as much, so because he lives in Singapore, but we're in touch all the time, sending silly things and making each other laugh. We took part on Good Morning Britain in arguably one of your finest moments in the history of the 35 years, when you absolutely eviscerated with just the side eye Esther McVeigh. Uh, let's have a little reminder. Uh, Lorraine Kelly's here. Do you remember Esther McVeigh her... from mm -hmm. her uh, GMTV oh, she... days? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> OK, coming up after half past. So you got on with Esther then, uh, Lorraine? Do you want another date? I don't remember. I don't remember, love. I don't remember at all. I really don't. It was an awful long time ago. Oh, I've looked skin girl. She'd be, <laughs> no, she'd be no, six no. feet under. All right, we'll, <laughs> we'll leave it there. Let's uh, get the news travel away the way you are. Oh, the the uh, it was that. Yes. Yes, I do. It's you. You bring out the <laughs> naughtiness in me. You really do. And you know that morning I was really fed up with every single politician in the world, especially Britain. You know what? It was, a, it was a great moment because not much makes you do that to It somebody. doesn't. It doesn't. You know, really the, doesn't. the great secret to me of your, of your longevity and popularity is you're very likeable on and off camera. You're exactly the same. We have a great laugh off camera, <laughs> don't we? Uh, you're very sincere and honest. I've always found you. You, you call things exactly how you see them. But you also want to see the good in people. Sure, yeah. So for you to go that way again, Someone. I know, I know. It really does make me worry about what Esther McVeigh is really like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually think she's she's just she's just as bad as old. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I do think that. And it's when I watch you in the morning and I get so enraged mm. by how we're going round and round and round in ever decreasing circles and we're not getting anywhere. We deserve better. Before we, I, I leave you. Oh, uh, you're going away. You, when you look back, I, I'm only. I, I'm they, couldn't, this. they couldn't afford me for the full hour. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that I, is true. Before I leave you, when you look back over the 35 years, what is the moment of them all? If I could say, look, you, I've got the power to let you relive one moment, one thing you did, mm. which, which one would you choose? That's really hard. Do you know who I love talking to? And it's just because I'm a geek, Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. I loved it. I absolutely loved it, Piers, because I was sitting with a person Second who actually on the moon, of course. stood on the moon. Yeah. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I, it was a terrible interview because I just went vuh, 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 like that. It'd be like if I ever got to interview David Bowie, sadly that will mm. never happen. But it wouldn't have been a good interview because I was 
beside myself. Mm. But it was amazing. Well, there are certain That's people there who've just job. done extraordinary things. Yeah. And you and I, when we're in their company, you just think, wow. I know. I think a guy that stood on the moon, it doesn't get much no, more. No, it's like you with Ronaldo. It was like, it's like yeah. that. Do yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's like... what Ronaldo thought about being interviewed by me. <laughs> no, indeed he did. <laughs> as he calls you up all the time to tell you. <laughs> he does, all right, actually. I've got to leave you. Uh, oh. Thank you. On behalf of all your thank viewers, you. honestly, you've built such an extraordinary trust with the viewers for so long. 35 years. I've done four years on Good Morning Britain. It's nearly killed me. I don't know how you've done it, but you've done it. You're a <laughs> tremendously hard worker. You're a lovely uh, colleague to work with, you. on and off camera. Uh, congratulations, honestly. Thank it's you. It's an amazing thing. I'm going to hand you over now. Well, first of all, a round of applause. Oh, for the right. <laughs>